Comics, and I'm back with a new comic book day, Best Bets of the Week, for February 12, 2020. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, last week, I didn't get a chance to make a new comic book day, Best Bets of the Week, but honestly, I only picked up one book last week, and you know, and if you guys have been following my model on the uh, Best Bets of the Week for $30 or less, sometimes we're going to get way under budget. And that's important because we can help work towards that 2020 goal books. So uh, that being said, with some of these few weeks that I've been getting a few books, uh, I was able to complete one of my 2020 goal goal books or, you know, goal runs. Um, more to come on that later. I'll be doing a video on that once the uh, last book comes in from uh, in the mail. So... Um, Let's get into it this week. There's some, you know, very good titles this week that are coming out. Some hot books already um, selling, you know, that are already sold out. And I'm going to mention some of those. All right. So starting off this week, let's look at uh, Image Comics. I believe there's a couple of number ones coming out this week, but I'm not actually picking them up. But I'm going to mention them anyways. So uh, the first book is Tartarus, I believe that's how you pronounce it, number one. Uh, new adventure series with the sci-fi drama of Breaking Bad set in Moe's Isley, I guess. Um, there's two covers, cover A and cover B by Christmas. Um, that's actually a pretty cool cover, but um, I don't know. And it's six bucks, geez, for that second cover. Oh, they're both six dollars. Wow, um, that's not a like image to uh, have new issues go for uh, six dollars. But uh, just putting it out there, just in case you guys are uh, interested. All right, moving on to uh, Dark Horse. And uh, oh, I also forgot to mention this is a uh, hashtag New Comic Book Day. Long titles. For some reason, there's a lot of really long titles in some of these uh, comics and uh, I just wanted to put that out there as well. Uh, there's some here right from uh, Dark Horse is a good example. Uh, Blackwood Morning After, Criminal Macrobee The Big Bleed Out, I don't know. Just, I just wanted to point that out, it was pretty funny. And uh, Tales from the Harrow County Death's Choir <laughs> is another one. Uh, but for, um, let me see, uh, Dark Horse. There is a number one here as well. It's called the uh, Blackwood Morning After. Um, next chapter of the hit occult fantasy series Blackwood from Eisner Award winning Evan Dorkin and the powerhouse art team of Veronica and Andy Fish. Uh, this one actually seems pretty interesting. And uh, I'm going to make this one of my uh, honorable mentions for the week. Because, you know, sometimes these uh, Dark Horse. Comics end up getting uh, optioned and picked up, and since they have, I believe, uh, exclusives with, uh, I think, Netflix, some of these may get picked up. So, uh, there's one of my honorable mentions this week. Alright, I think that was all from uh, Dark Horse. So, scrolling down through uh, IDW. Um, I don't believe there's anything here this week that I was looking at. So I'm just going to pass. All right, going on to DC. There is this number one here, Batman Pennyworth, Rest in Peace, number one. Written by uh, James Tiny IV, Peter Tomasi. Um, not sure if this is a continuation from that Batman issue when they killed off uh, Alfred. Um, since James Tiny is on this, it might be something to look at um, for you Batman readers. I'm not personally interested in it. Um, so yeah, it says right here, his death at the hands of Bane is the only one. Yeah. So it looks like it may be a continuation on this. I hope they don't bring him back this soon. I know he's an important uh, character in the Batman world, but uh, I think they should hold off on a, for a while. But I'm not really interested in this, but I just wanted to mention this as well. All right, so moving on. Um, I don't believe there's anything really big coming out this week on uh, DC. There is Flash number 88, 
And uh, there is a new uh, first appearance in here. I believe the uh, first appearance is Paradox. So I know uh, there's some people here that are reading um, Flash read along. I know Rod the Recon is a big advocate for the Flash. I like the Flash. He's one of my favorite DC characters. I just haven't been, you know, keeping up with the issues. But uh, there is a first appearance here. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys who collect first appearances. Uh, moving on. So there, this one was a bit of a head scratcher that they're starting a new Green Lantern. Green Lantern Season 2, Number 1. It's another 12-part, I guess, maxi-series. I could have sworn they just finished, or, you know, they just had a Green Lantern run, because I had the first issue or two. Um, and then they had the Green Lantern Black Stars, and I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. You know, Grant Morrison's back on this, along with Liam Sharp. Um, this one kind of confuses me, but... Uh, so this is going to be a pass, but uh, I don't know, I just wanted to point that out as well. Another uh, number one here, it's a mini-series, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. I think this is just more of an adding on because the uh, the movie just came out this past week. Let me know if you guys ended up watching the movie. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but um, it had got some good reviews, but I guess from early reports, DC is a little disappointed about the actual revenue that came in over the first weekend. So, uh, I don't know. I think they probably should have named it Harley Quinn, you know, featuring the Birds of Prey. And I think that would have gave it more promotion. But uh, that's just me. I don't know. What do I know? I don't promote movies. <laughs> but uh, all right, let's move it on. Let's get some books to actually pick up. I know you guys are like, watching this and like, why hasn't Mark Spector added any books here? All right, so uh, let's get on to the books. All right, so that's DC. To be honest, all the books are going to be mainly coming from Marvel this week. It's a big week for Marvel. Um, so let's get into it. First book is Doctor Strange number three, Surgeon Supreme. It's been a pretty good read. Um, I like this first, you know, I like this cover A here. Really cool uh, dragon. You got Doctor Strange riding it with a battle axe, it looks like. There is a first appearance in here. Um, I believe it's Stigmata is the uh, first appearance. Uh, don't know what's to come with that character, but just mentioning it out there as well. So uh, I'm going to add that to the add that to the list. First book, $3.99. There you go. All right. Next book, scrolling through, uh, I just wanted to mention this. Uh, they're doing a Gwen Stacy number one, another mini series, one of five issues. Uh, I just don't know what to say. You know, they're, uh, they, Marvel keeps on pushing for these smaller characters to have their own, like, series that honestly, Nobody reads, but they just buy for the cover art. There are some cool covers. I'm not going to, you know, disregard that. This is a cool uh, Jae Hong Lee variant uh, showing uh, Gwen Stacy. J. Scott Campbell is another really cool cover. But honestly, yeah, let me know if you're picking this book up. <laughs> and if you are, is it because of the cover? Because I'm not picking this up. Just wanted to mention it, though. That's going to be a little pass. All right. Book number two. Of course, it's going to be Immortal Hulk number 31. This is an absolutely really cool cover done by Alex Ross. Um, there is a first appearance here. There hasn't been any first appearances in the Immortal Hulk run in quite some time. Uh, There's going to be a first appearance of the Glow Boy. Don't know what's to come of that, but... Uh, it's my one of only two books I have on my uh, poll list, so of course I'm picking this book up, adding that to the list, and that puts us at eight bucks. And I just wanted to point that out. If you see here closely, it's at seven forty-eight. We're going to be two issues away from the big seven fifty, and I got a feeling there's going to be something really big to come. So uh, if you're not on a Mortal Hulk probably should start picking up these issues. All right. 
Next book. Scrolling on. There's another Marvel Tales Wolverine number one. That's another new number one coming out for Marvel. Um, this is an In Huck Lee, I believe, cover. Yeah. I don't know. He's a really good artist, but I think this is a terrible portrayal of uh, Wolverine. I don't know what's going on with that face. Um, and it's an $8 cover price? Like, what the hell? Uh, I don't know. I don't understand that. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be a big pass, but I just wanted to point that out there. Um, going on, there's also a new number one by uh, Nebula number one, another mini series written by Vida Ayala. Uh, Claire Rowe on the uh, interior art, and this is a cool cover done by Jen Bartel. Um, just wanted to point that out there. Nebula is a really cool, you know, character in the Marvel, you know, universe. They're going to continue going on with her because she does have quite the popularity. So I'm not surprised that they're doing it, you know, um, a mini series on her. So uh, depending on how it goes, they may extend it. I don't know. It's just a, I believe, a five part issue. Yeah, five, five issue series. So that's something to point out. Um, but I'm not going to pick that up. Um, scrolling on through, there is another number one. Like I said, hashtag long titles for new comic book day this week. This is um, Spirits, Ghost Rider, Mother of Demons, number one. Written by Ed Brisson, art by Roland Boshi, and it's a Philip Tan cover. It's a $4.99 cover issue. I'm going to pick this up because if I'm not mistaken, there is a first appearance in here. I'm just going to scroll on through. And just quickly verify that premiere issue of a limited series featuring Lilith, Mother of Demons. So I remember Lil Lilith is a is a key character in that Midnight Suns uh, series. Um, so that's going to be something interesting to pick up. I'm going to add that to the list, and that's at four ninety nine. And there is also worth pointing out. Uh, let me just get on to Midtown because they don't have this on Marvel previews. But um, here we go. The cover B is already sold out by uh, Stephanie Hans, which is a really nice cover. Um, also pointing out the design variant. The design variant is a 1 in 10. It's usually done by Aaron Cooter. Um, these usually gather some... Uh, some value down the road so um, you can usually get these for cover price I wouldn't pay this 850 nonsense here um, but for these limited 1 to 10s it's usually a pretty good investment as well I'm gonna add this to the list at uh, $4.99 did I do that already yeah I think I did um, so uh, just wanted to point that out Pretty cool book. I like that cover too as well. Um, so we got two more books to finish up with Marvel this week. And the next book is Thor number three. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of us are uh, currently reading this story written by Donny Cates, art by Nick Klein. This cover is done by Olivier Coppel. Uh It's a really cool, uh, really cool cover. But this continues on with the uh, Thor and Beta Ray Bill battle. I'm going to add this to the list because it's been a great read. Why not, right? So uh, that's $3.99. That puts us at $17. Bucks. All right. Last book in Marvel this week. And, of course, it's going to be that last book that I talked about. My One of two books I have currently on pull. It's Venom. This is issue number 23. Um, it's been on a little bit of a low the last few issues, but uh, I think it's gonna. It, I feel like it's just gonna get there. I'm not. I'm not sure. There's something about it. Um, I believe there's something here. Yeah, there's a solicitation to see the next year's Venom event already beginning to grow. So uh, I'm still waiting for the big reveal. It's, it hasn't happened yet, but. 
I got a feeling it's going to get there. Um, three covers this week, which is unusual for Venom. They haven't done this in quite some time. You got this uh, really cool Gwen Stacy variant. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, they had to tie it in with the new number one this week. Don't know why Marvel continues to do this, considering the character has nothing to do with the story. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, the cover I wanted to point out is the Scotty Young variant. Um, this is cover C, I believe. And this is actually a pretty funny cover. And if you look at this closely, you got Donny Cates here. Um, so uh, this is his first cover appearance. Um, so look out for this. This is this is going to be very interesting. As far as I know, he's not been on a, a comic book cover. He's drawn a cover going back to uh, Absolute Carnage. Um, but he's not been on an actual cover. So this is his technically his first cover appearance. Um, this is huge. I'm going to add this to the list at $3.99. And... I guarantee you this is going to be a hot book this week. And looking at uh, Midtown, I got a feeling it's already sold out. Let's take a look. All right. Getting right towards the end. Yeah, there you go. The book's already sold out at Midtown. It, it's going to be it's going to be a hot book just mainly because it's Donny Kate's first cover appearance. Otherwise, why wouldn't these other two issues, you know, these other two covers be sold out as well if there was like something key? It's key because of this specific cover. So um, this is big. I'm going to be able to get this book no problem because I have it on pull. But if you want to get this book for you Donny Kate's fans, I recommend you call your uh, comic, your comic shop probably tomorrow and let them know you want that Venom cover C. Um, it's going to be hot. It's going to sell for quite a bit over ratio, I guarantee it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make this my pick of the week. So um, that's going to finish up my uh, Marvel. And um, going on through, it's going to be just some of the smaller indies to finish up. And it's also... Um, Quite light this week on the indies. There's on Boom Studios. There's this new number one here, Alienated. Another mini series, number one of six. Sounds interesting. Um, I don't know. I'll wait and see what this book does, but I'm not going to recommend it for the best bets of the week. But that's pretty much it for um, Boom Studios. Yeah. And then scrolling on for the last section, because mm -hmm. some reason uh, Preview Worlds adds these right towards the end. I believe there's one more thing I wanted to point out that's going to be very, uh, I, don't know, I thought it was pretty funny when I saw it initially. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Is Oh, here we go. <laughs> the... Uh, Horror Comics Sketchbook One-Shots. Um, I think they're doing this as a parody to uh, to Marvel when they were doing all these colored uh, colored sketch covers and they were like charging in one out of 200 or one in 500 ratios. So this is a way of Antarctic Press making fun of Marvel for doing this and yet they're only charging cover price. I think this is a really cool idea for them to, uh, to get a nice sketch cover because I don't know if you guys read Horror Comics, but... I read the first two issues and it was really good. Um, I think it was written by Michael Golden, I believe. Michael Golden or Bradley Golden, something like that. Uh, really cool guy and I love his writing. Um, so I'm going to recommend this as uh, I'm probably not going to pick this up, but uh, I believe this is going to be hot. So let me just take a quick look onto. Uh, Midtown, just towards finishing up this, uh, finishing up this this list real quick, and then um, we'll take a look. I don't know why is this is lagging real quick, but let's take a look. All right. So uh, 
All right, horror. Oh, look at that! Believe it or not, it's already it's already sold out. So um, they're calling it the Blood Dead cover. So I'm recommending you get that if you can find it. It's already sold out. It's gonna be. It might be hot. Who knows? But um, that puts me at twenty six dollars for the week. I think I did pretty well. What do you guys think? Um, so I stuck to the goal, thirty dollars or less. We'll try to do it again next week. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, it's Mark Spectre Comics. Out. And don't forget about that Venom. It's going to be my pick of the week. It's going to be hot. Guarantee it. All right, guys.